In this fast tip, we're going to look at how to set up an alpha channel or find or locate or identify an alpha channel in a stream so that we can lay composited images over top of another image. Now in this particular case, we've got an animated figure that was created in After Effects and output as a 32-bit file. In other words, it's got an embedded alpha channel. If it's a 24-bit channel file or if it's a 24-bit file, there's no way it can have an embedded alpha channel. We need 8 bits for red, 8 for green, 8 for blue, and then the final remaining 8 for our transparency or our alpha channel. So you're going to need to have a 32-bit file in order to be able to drop these in. And we'll talk about those in a different fast tip. So here we've got our animated figure. Let's get into how to set up an alpha channel in Vegas. So here we've got a 32-bit uncompressed file. If it's 32-bit, it's going to have to be an uncompressed file. A DV can't hold a 32-bit stream. So we've got a, an animated figure, and it's playing back very, very slow. Uh, that's simply because it's a 19 by 20, 1080 uh, animated 32-bit file, so it's a little bit chunky. All right, now let's identify a background, and I've already pre-selected one. I'm just going to drag this down here. And you'll notice that our background doesn't show up. This is because our video has not identified the alpha channel yet. All we need to do to identify that is right click, go to properties, and we'll go to media. And we can see right here that it is uncompressed and it's upper field first. We're going to change this so that it's progressive scan. And here's where the key is. We're going to click on alpha channel and we're going to choose pre-multiplied. And click on OK. And just like that, we've now changed out our file and we've got our animated skydiver in the background flying through some kind of uh, 3D world there. And that's all there is to setting up an alpha channel inside of Sony Vegas. Now this tip works with target files and ping files and, and TIFF files and other file formats. A, a uh, JPEG file can't contain a transparency. So you're going to be dealing predominantly with pings and targets. You can use TIFFs in Vegas, but Vegas doesn't really like TIFFs very much. You're going to need to have a QuickTime Reader installed if you want to work with TIFF files inside of Vegas. So be sure you, you've got QuickTime enabled if you are using uh, any kind of a TIFF file with a 32-bit background. But stay tuned for more fast tips from Vast.